Dude, it's like Jack 20 back to last wave. Epic Mickey. And last part. Crap hit the fan. The real Shadow Blood is now free in the world. We got these Bloodicle thingies, which are quite disgusting. Now trying to destroy all the paint in the world of Wasteland. However, it's quite simple to take care of them. All you gotta do is look at these weird little green glowing pustule thingies and spray your choice of paint or thinner into them. Get them all, get rid of all of them, the Bloodicles are out of there. And oh my gosh, look at all this mayhem. Darn, every even when I try and paint things, they'll just come right back. Oh wait, where's that last little pustule thingy? It's gotta be around here, hang on. I'm gonna be down here, probably be up top somewhere, huh? Yeah, because you, you know the, you'll know which one you're supposed to do because it'll be slightly engorged like that one right there. See? So it's slightly a little more, uh, like, bulbous in size. And there you go. The first three blotticles are removed. That didn't take too long, did it? Sorry. Just a little bit of that allergy's going on again. Oh, Gus! God, I haven't seen you in, like, actual gameplay in a long time. And you know what? I, again, with my perfectionist attitude, I do not want to have just, you know, I don't want to just have this whole place look crappy before I leave. Even though if I do, I want I want to have that knowledge that I helped break, restore this place a bit. So, I'm going to now uh, paint in a lot of this crap while I tell you all a story. Why? Because I might as well. It's about Oswald and it's why he was gone for so long. Because... Many of you who are wondering who the heck also Lucky Rabbit is, why have I never heard of him, or you don't know the story, it's time I tell you all finally, in this little bit, why that is. Walt Disney, um, when he was first starting out as an animator, was actually employed by Warner Brothers. If you don't know what Warner Brothers is, War Warner Brothers is just think Looney Tunes, Animaniacs, those cartoons. He actually, he actually started out working for them. And... One of the first creations he ever made, the first real, like, big animated creature that he made, was Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. That was the first ever... Sorry there, Moody. That was the first ever animated person he had ever made that was successful, even before Mickey Mouse. Now, the problem is, the, the reason why we have not seen Oswald very, like, much at all, except for in this game and in a couple other places, is because... Um, re up until like probably not even like maybe two years ago, I want to say like maybe 2010 ish. That was when they first, not, not, maybe not even 2010, maybe 2011, I forget, around this time. Somewhere around here, the problem was when Walt Disney uh, went to start his own company um, and he left Warner Brothers, uh, Warner Brothers insisted that technically by contract, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit belonged to them. So when Walt Disney tried to leave, they said we're keeping the we're keeping the concept of Oswald Lucky Rabbit that is copyrighted by us now. So Walt Disney was forced to abandon Oswald Lucky Rabbit and move on to make Mickey Mouse in his later creations. However, there, this this raises a couple of pretty interesting you know little theories. I'm gonna show this part. You know why? Because I just want to you know talk a little bit longer and this is probably gonna be the last time I show this. Um, first of all, many believe. And there is pretty good evidence that, you know, visual evidence that you can see, that Oswald the Lucky Rabbit was then taken by Warner Brothers after Walt Disney left, and transformed into what we now know today as Bugs Bunny. So now thinking about that, that means Walt Disney probably, he, he most likely created the two most memorable cartoon characters of our time. And then, but recently Disney was able to finally purchase back the copyright to Oswald after 80 years, 80 years, they purchased back, they bought back Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, the idea. And so that's why we are now seeing Oswald the Lucky Rabbit after so long. I'm starting to see why he liked you more. No, you don't understand. Focus, did the peril, remember? Uh, I got all the rocket parts. You know, folks here would die for a heart. And you gave up yours. To save a gremlin, you just met. <laughs> You'd have done the same. <sighs> Maybe for my honey bunch or tensia, but you. <sighs> now you're stuck here like me. <gasps> anyway, can we launch the rocket now? Huh? The rocket is useless! 
No one can get out of here without that heart. No one? Well, it's not important now. We've lost. It's over. The blob will destroy everything. Yeah, that does seem pretty bleak. You're just giving up without a fight? Fight what? That storm? We can't even reach it! Not even in a rocket? That's it! We'll bring the fight to the blot! That won't defeat the blot, it can regain its strength. Those blotticles feed it all the pain it needs. I'll take care of the blotticles, you fix the rocket. But could we really? Sure! Give me the parts! Then meet me at the rocket in Tomorrow City! We got a plan. And Mickey, now I really do see why he liked you. Uh, if only he knew. Oh no, it looks like the blot has already taken over Mean Street. We need to help quickly. Man, looks like they have a slobber though over there. That's not gonna be very pleasant for us. Alright, let's go. Man, this place is just... It's kind of amazing, because you usually see this with at least a little bit of paint, but when you remove all the paint, it just looks so much different. And just evil. So I'm not even gonna worry about all you guys. You could fight them if you want, but really... Once you get rid of all the blotticles, all the enemies disappear anyway. Sorry, got a kiss little mini burp. Don't even know why that came out of nowhere. Okay, get out. Stop that. Stop that. There we go. Sheesh. Get that one out of the way. Only a couple of this. Luckily, in Mean Street, there's only this one blotticle you have to worry about. What are you doing, Spatter? You stop. Stop. Stop doing that. Okay, come on. Come on. Yes. And with that, all the blotlings leave for some reason. I don't know why. Probably realized that crap was about to hit the fan if they stayed around. Only our only... A, well, we're, I'd say we're about halfway. We still need to clear out all the ones in Adventureland and in... Uh, ooh, gold pen! Paramount Street. Nice. I want to get this place looking ship shape as usual again, so... Gotta be doing my usual thing, trying to think if there's any other little stories I can talk about all about Lucky Rabbit, because you know, it was always quite fun. Um, yeah, I guess I can also explain things, because I remember it was brought up a couple times in that part where my little brother and I were co-commentating, so it has to be brought up now. Um, about the things I've been unlocking, in case none, in case any, none, none of you have heard, seen that part yet or haven't heard it. Um, yes, we have been unlocking a couple of actual reels that we can actually watch legitimately. Like, it'll actually have the original cartoon. The problem is, especially since I'm trying to, like, you know, monetize some of these videos, because, you know, I just want to try it out at least, okay? I'm, I'm not, like, let me know. I'm not asking you all to click on it right now. I probably just mentioned it. I'm already, I'm already getting an evil glare from the YouTube staff just for even mentioning that I ha that I can monetize videos now and that some of them are. Long story short, I'm already kind of, you know, I'm already pushing the whole copyright thing by doing this, you know, just just this on its own. So, in fact, a lot of Let's Players are when they do this type of thing. So, let's see, does this look alright now? Yeah, it looks presentable. So, when it comes to showing off those clips, uh, I cannot show them. I cannot, in this part the, as part of this Let's Play, show you those video clips as captured footage because... Uh, first of all, I couldn't. First of all, it'd be really difficult to really make good commentary with watching those videos. I mean, if you guys wanted me to do like a freaking like DVD commentary of actually watching the clips and commentating as I watch it, I guess I could give it a shot. But I just want to let you know that 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 is big copyright material. Like this is kind of pushing because it's for educational or instructional purposes or whatever it's called. Because I want to help people get learn how to beat this game and find every last dang thing. But no, that's pushing it. So, what I can do is I can link you to other YouTube videos here, like on YouTube, that have the actual animated clip in, and you can watch it there because they obviously don't care about the copyright problems. I do, so I can link you because there's got to be, I'm sorry, somewhere on YouTube or somewhere on the internet, there's got to be the video, that, that, that video that you saw. The, the, the videos that we've unlocked so far. There's gotta be them somewhere around here. But for now, um, I'm just going to be uh, taking care of these blotticles. Hopefully be in the game in a nice time of fashion. There's one. Oh crap, Tiki Sam's still in there. 
Don't worry, Tiki Sam, I'll save ya. If I can find the last little pustule thing. Oh crap, these these bodies are becoming a trouble. A little bit of a nuisance now. Hopefully they're all practically killing each other at this point. Okay, just one more remains. Come on, come on. There we go. Awesome. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. There we go. We're, not, we're, we're pretty, actually doing this pretty well, you know. I, I'm, I'm really spending the most of this part just trying to paint everything and make it look neat and tidy. But the rest of it is just, you know, good progress that we're making. Okay, I'm not going to paint in every single dang plant again. I mean, that was just too much. Okay. I am going to make it look presentable, though. That, that's, what I'll, that's what I'll call it. I'm trying to make the place look presentable. Or paint. Perhaps you bushes will give me some paint. If I run out of any, I'll come to you guys. Got anything? Yes, awesome. They really are generous with it. Need paint? They give you paint. You need thinner? They give you thinner. If you're full on painted thinner, they might give it to you anyway just to make you feel uh, really annoyed by it. But uh, they'll most likely give you tickets after that point. Okay. Oh my goodness, this building got hit like freaking hard. The worst part is you can't even go inside this building, which is why I'm so mad. I'm like, I would totally go in there and it'd be awesome if they had like a secret area or something. But as far as I'm as far as I'm aware, you there's no way to go inside that place. Okay, just enough. Yes, thank you. I wanna get this little thing painted in right. Pin these walls, make it all look neat. Come on, there you go. But yeah, sorry if this has been sort of an uneventful part and it's just been me taking care of these blotticles and talking like a complete idiot about other things that people may not even care about. People that th thinks that someone will probably that's like, uh, something that pr someone will probably have just looked up on Wikipedia. They really want to know, but I felt like it had to be put in here somewhere, considering the whole rela relationship between Walt Disney, Oswald, and Mickey Mouse together. But we're already halfway done with all the blotticles. It's time we now head into Bogeezy to take care of the next couple of them. Uh, you know, before Gremlin Gus pretty much says the exact same thing, darn thing I just said. Oh, that has a cool sky over there. Yeah, this place is already looking quite nice. Um, can I find the ball? Oh, snap. It looks like he's centered around Disney Castle. Or not Disney Castle, uh, Dark Beauty Castle or whatever. That's gonna be just fun going there. Alright. So, yeah, um, now, I, I might as well let you all know right now, um, we are getting into the, pr the end game. Like, pretty soon we're going to be at a point in the game where once we pass it, we're never going to be able to come back to Main Street again. So after we take care of the Blobicles here in Bog Easy, we're going to reach that point. We'll then have the option to go to Tomorrow City, take care of the Blobicles there, and get that rocket online. So, problem is with this, I want to get those last little upgrades and show any last little mini things I've missed, because we're almost at the point of no return. Once we pass that... It's done. So, I'm gonna pick it. Oh, what? Freaking clear. Yes, okay. Don't even want to worry about you guys. You, however, Mr. Sweeper, are going to be a problem. So let me see. Get up there and get you in this nice, comfortable thing. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Actually, oh my gosh, you know what I forgot to show? I haven't shown off the uh, quests you do if you, uh, Leave the ghosts in Bog Easy. Holy crap. I, I'm just now realizing I never did show that. So you know what? Um, how about that? In the next part, uh, just making that little promise right now. In the next part, I'm going to uh, show off the quests and things you can do with the ghosts in town of Bog Easy. And then um, get the last couple upgrades. And man, that's it. We're off to Tomorrow City. So there. I have a nice little goal for myself set out now. Uh, but right now, let's focus on the task at hand, which is freaking getting rid of these blotticles, because they're going to be a complete nuisance to us otherwise. Okay, there's another one. You should be growing so big. There you go. You next. Nice little order. You next. Oh, man, this, guy, this, thing, this thing has a lot of them. Okay, there's one. Only two are left. That's good. See, I can count two and or read off a little bullet, and that tells me how many are left. Isn't that convenient? Okay. Sorry, I just love the music they are to shape this whole this game, oh my gosh. 
Worst part is one of my favorite music tracks was never put in. Like when this game was first being all promoted and whatnot. Ooh, I can ring the bell. Uh, bell. Please ring. And this is supposed to be doing something. If I'm correct, it's supposed to uh, get rid of one of the blotticles. However, it does seem like nothing is happening. That is odd. Usually, uh, if you put, put it back together and ring it, it'll get rid of one of the blotticles here. Which is like the whole little incentive of doing it in the first place. That's odd. Um, okay, moving on. But... Oh god, what was I talking about actually before this? Um, oh, there it is. So yeah, that's my goal. I'd say at maybe uh, at the most five or six parts left and we're done here in this game. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, about the music track. Yeah, there, when the game was first being promoted, there was this pr one track. Oh, there it is. There was this one track that was being, uh, there's this one track that was in this cool little promotion video that someone put on YouTube. It's probably still up here on YouTube, at knowing my luck at this point, but um... The thing is, it was one of my most favorite, it, it, it was probably the most awesome track I've heard in this game so far. And it was never actually put in the game, it was just one of the deleted ones. So you know what? When I show off all the concept arts in the game, which is probably going to be all one big bonus video, uh, I'm going to have that be the little soundtrack thing, but background eye to that whole thing. And I'll commentate over that, because you know what? We all, the main menu music we've all pretty much, pretty much heard at this point. You, you kind of got, you get the idea of what the main menu music sounds like. And I personally love that track, so I just want to play that. And that, that's my plan. See? My gosh, what? Why? No one, no one is caring about my thought process right now when I'm making these Let's Plays. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm just ordering up what's going to happen, when's going to happen. Jeez, where's the rest of the blotical? It's got to be more. Oh, it's over there. Sheesh, silly me. I was stupid. Sue me. Get out of here. Okay. This one, and there's one left. Come on, don't, don't explode me, don't explode on me! Awesome! That's the last blotical. We are all done here. Now I just have to get all the way back to the freaking end of this area. After I paint that thing in, after I paint in the place, of course, because I want to make it all light, look nice and neat. Everyone right now on their computer screens probably just went, Oh god, he's gonna do it again. Yes, I'm gonna do it again, because I like to be nice. And because nothing else is gonna buffer this video to a nice, appropriate length anyway. If I really just went all out, this video will be done in less than 11 minutes. I don't want to head off to the point of no return just yet, because if I do, then we'll be able to do the little bit of grinding off screen, and I want to have at least something to upload. You know, I want to have something that's both substantial and, um... It's something that's both substantial, but not too hasty with how I upload because otherwise I, I end up skipping things if I try if I try and go too far in or I record so much in one playthrough that I don't have enough time to record all the evil stuff in the other playthrough complicated things like that you, you get the idea I'm heading back to Main Street because that's this is it what you've just done is you've just done the last th if you followed me this entire playthrough which uh, I've, I've also seen some people that have actually liked this one, that like this let's play that they actually wanted to buy it, and I feel happy that I've done that because I've been, I've not only have I not only have I inspired people to quote unquote inspire people to buy a video game, which I love it. I, I'm not trying to call you. I'm sorry if I, I don't want to. I'm not trying to embarrass. Or I'm not trying to call anyone out, but I I really actually I I truly appreciate comments like that. Comments that tell me how how sucky something is, I appreciate those too because you know it tells me okay, let's uh, improve and not have anything like that happen again. Um, but I love comments like that that just say things like, "Oh my gosh, thank you for this," or you inspire me. Most of all, when they when someone tells me that they want to buy the game after watching me play the after watching me do the let's play because it, it means that I've it, it it makes me feel successful in showing off a game that it makes the the actual viewer want to try for themselves and actually you know look more into it that that to me is what I that, that to me is what success feels like when I'm doing a let's play oh, okay got a nice little bit of extra content there um it's probably the most I'm gonna get for it right now unless you got anything new for me come on something else fine I guess I'm gonna have to show those off in another part but 
Oh my gosh, until then, I'm Lucky Jack 20. I'm probably gonna do some grinding of tickets to buy the rest of those little upgrades before I leave, but in the next part, I'm gonna show that off, gonna show off those ghost missions in Bog Easy. Then we're gonna head to Tomorrow City to begin the ending of this game. And don't think the game's over yet, no. We still got quite a few things to do, but we're almost at, we're, we're going to the point of no return, baby. See y'all.